This little part may not look like much, but if it fails, it can cause a list of issues with your vehicle. This is gonna affect engine performance, fuel economy. What you're really gonna notice is the lack of heat inside the vehicle, a check engine light, and a thermostat related code, which this vehicle has. Let's investigate how this happened and fix it. And chances are, if your vehicle is at the age where the thermostat is failing, your water pump's not gonna be far behind. Luckily at 1AAuto.com, the experts have put together kits so you can buy them together. You don't even have to think about it. Save some money and some time. Get them at 1AAuto.com. This vehicle has a P2181, which is a coolant system performance issue. Now this vehicle is a European car, so it has different codes than most. Most of the time you're gonna see that you have a P0128 and you're gonna diagnose these problems the same way. If you have a scan tool that can read data, you wanna take a look at the intake air temp sensor and the coolant temp sensor when the vehicle is cold. They should be pretty close to each other. If you see that the coolant temp sensor is negative 40 or extremely high when the vehicle is cold, there's something going on with that coolant temp sensor. And if you want to take it one step further, you can download our app, view codes that are related to your vehicle, and watch videos on how to repair them. You want to check under the hood and check the coolant level, see if there's any coolant leaks. If you have a leak, that's going to need to be addressed before you go any further. There could be an air pocket causing the sensor not to read correctly. But majority of the time when you have one of these codes, you're going to have to replace the thermostat. That's what we're doing on this vehicle. Let's take out the thermostat and see what's going on with it. You can see on this one, the valve is stuck open. We had to cut this open because this is all one unit. The thermostat isn't separate from the housing, but the inside where the valve is, it is bent over a little bit and that's allowing coolant to go through the system when it's supposed to be closed. The spring in there heats up and it pulls the valve open. As the spring cools, it closes the valve again and allows the coolant to heat up inside the engine. There's also a possibility that the thermostat that you have is not quite as stuck open as this one. It could be just stuck open a little, allowing a little bit of coolant flow or even opening too soon. The other condition could be the thermostat stuck closed, although you're probably not gonna get a P0128 with that and your engine is gonna be overheating. Now that we know our problem, we're gonna put a new thermostat in this vehicle from 1AAuto.com and then clear the codes. All right, no more thermostat related codes on our vehicle, we're good to go. Here's a little bonus for you. On certain vehicles, if you get a thermostat related code, you're gonna have the computer kicking on the fans full blast. So it sounds like you're driving a jet engine. The reason why they do that is to prevent the engine from overheating. It doesn't know if there's a problem with one of the sensors or the thermostat, it just wants to maintain and not cause any other major damage. 